In the realm of Last Epoch, every adventurer seeks not just to conquer, but to do so efficiently. The game itself, known for its deep crafting mechanics, build diversity and legendary items, also offers a less trodden path for those looking to streamline their journey through its expansive campaign. Yes, we're talking about the alternate leveling paths, a feature that might just be the secret weapon in your arsenal. The essence of alternate leveling paths. At its core, Last Epoch challenges players to experiment with builds across myriad progression systems. Yet starting anew can often feel daunting, especially with the prospect of retreading familiar ground. This is where alternate leveling paths shine, offering a detour around the game's campaign, letting players skip entire chapters and leapfrog to the meat of the games and game content. Navigating the alternate routes. Imagine standing at the crossroads of destiny, where each path veers off into unseen territories, each with its own risks and rewards. These are the alternate leveling paths of last epoch side dungeons strategically placed to offer a shortcut through the campaign's narrative. Lightless Arbor Path Found in Chapter 2, this path whisks you away to the corrupted lake, catapulting you right into the heart of Chapter 4. It's the perfect choice for adventurers looking to bypass the early grind, offering a smooth transition for all characters regardless of build. Soulfire Bastion Path Nestled within Chapter 4, this challenging route demands prowess and preparation with foes that test even the most seasoned players. Survive and you emerge in Chapter 7 ready to tackle Hyoboria's icy expanses and reap the rewards of side quests and unique arena activities. Temporal Sanctum Path The last of these hidden trails awaits in Chapter 5, leading the brave to the radiant dunes of Chapter 8. This path is a gambit, offering to skip the trials of Chapters 6 and 7, including the dreaded Lagan fight, in favor of a direct route to the game's climactic battles. When to embark on these journeys? Choosing when to take these alternate paths isn't just a matter of convenience, it's a strategic decision that can define your last epoch experience. The Lightless Arbor is your gateway for a fast-paced journey, ideal for every character eager to delve deeper into the game's lore and challenges without the preliminary steps. Soulfire Bastion stands as a testament to your prowess recommended for those who've honed their skills and gear in the monolith of fate and are ready for what lies beyond. The Temporal Sanctum offers solace to those who wish to bypass the Lagan fight, providing a shortcut to the endgame while avoiding some of the game's most challenging battles. Final Thoughts In Last Epoch, the journey is as significant as the destination. With alternate leveling paths, the game respects your time and challenges your strategic thinking, offering multiple ways to experience its rich narrative and complex mechanics. Whether you're a seasoned veteran looking to optimize a new character or a newcomer eager to explore the depths of its world, these paths offer a compelling choice to tailor your adventure. Thank you for joining us on Joystick News. If you've traversed these alternate paths or plan to in the future, share your tales and tips in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more deep dives into your favorite games. Until next time, may your choices lead you to victory and your adventures be ever rewarding.